Hello everyone, it is Wednesday and we are here for today's free card class. Thank you so much for joining me. So glad you all are here. Please put a comment in the comments. Let me know that you're here. Let me know where you're from. That would be amazing. All right, so today is the first day for our series of Christmas in July. I know it's early. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not even close to Christmas, but everyone does their Christmas in July, so I thought I'd hop on and do a short little series. So today's class, we're going to be making a total of three card designs. Um, in the kit that you can get for free, you're going to get supplies to make six cards. In order to get the kit for free, just place a small order of $30 or more with the link that's attached to this video it goes right to my stampin up store and place an order and i will send you the kit for free and we're going to be focusing today on the horse and sleigh bundle this is a really really pretty stamp set it is not available in the catalog uh, there aren't any pictures shown there it is found in the online store so they have this thing online exclusives they re release product I believe like three or four times a year and that is where you can get the stamp set and the dies if you go to my store it'll direct you right to it so these are the dies you can see the horse and the sleigh little parts for the sleigh if you wanted to add some embellishments so we're going to be using this and we are going to be using the stamp set. So let's get crafting. I'm just gonna move these dies over. We don't need them just yet. So our first card we are going to make. It's super pretty. We're gonna use some of the new designer uh, specialty papers. So here we have a piece of cardstock. We're just simply going to fold this in half. And don't forget, when you get the class, you do get the tutorial that has all the instructions and all the measurements. All right, so we're just simply folding that in half. And we will take a regular piece of white cardstock and put it on the inside of the card. Because with this, you will notice that it's going to be too dark to write anything on the inside so you want to shoot in a piece of white cardstock all right then I have this really pretty specialty paper so in the specialty pack you get gold copper and silver and it's different patterns of trees it's really nice so what we're going to do is just attach this flat to our card. Just like that. All right, so we're just gonna put this on the side for a moment and we're gonna do some stamping. So we are going to use the largest stamp in here and this is with the horse and the sleigh again with these photopolymer sets put it on your table grab a block that will match the size the best let's make sure it's all on there it is on there and because it's a bigger stamp I like to lay it face up you take your stamp pad and just cover it like this because this way you can make sure that you have everything covered that you want covered all right so let's flip this over and stamp light taps and we have our image all right so what we're going to do next i just want to clean my stamp a little bit because we are going to need this stamp later all right so let's pull out our 
die cutting machine. So this is the mini. So you lay your plate one, your plate two. You lay down your image and we'll get the die. And we'll just lay that right on top. Make sure it's all lined up. Now what you can do is grab like a little sticky note and put that on here so it helps it to not move. I hope that didn't move too much. I'll just crank this through. Turned out, yes, perfect. All right, we'll put the die on the side, put our plates away. All right, so now we're just gonna do some quick coloring. This won't take long, so we'll start out with our little horse. And we'll just color in his mane. does go pretty fast. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic summer. Anybody doing anything really fun on a vacation? the studio is going really well putting up the drywall that that's always fun not really <laughs> for a short people trying to help with putting drywall on the ceiling yeah that's always fun but it's going well all right, we're just going to finish up our horse. And we'll grab our black. So we have a black marker. I'm just going to use the marker tip. I just want to fill in for his strap. And look at his hooves. I want to add a little more of that brown on here. There we go. Let's color in the sleigh. Okay, so this is the light night of navy. Do their hats. the light or no this is the dark the blanket All right. almost finished here these blending markers are wonderful. Just absolutely love it. Makes the coloring just go so quick and just it all blends together. Love it. All right, nice and simple. That is all colored, so we can move on. So what we will do is flip this over. We'll add some dimensionals. Oop. There we go. 
So has anyone even like started Christmas shopping yet? I can honestly say I have not. But I hear that there's some really good deals out there already. All right, so now we're gonna take our white and we're gonna stamp our sentiment. And we will do wishing you a season of cheer. So upside down, grab a block. I didn't need such a big one, but. Make sure that's juiced up. And we're just gonna go in the upper corner because we're gonna trim it out some. Yeah, save your scrap white pieces because you can always use them for tags and labels and all that fun stuff. Done with that. So we'll grab our paper trimmer. And just trim this out because it's just a little too big. There's no specific measurement for your label. You can always order the stamp set or you can always use what, what you have if you have something similar. All right, so now we will just take this and flip it over, add some dimensionals. All right, and put this just at the top. We go and now let's add some bling so I'm going to be using just the basic rhinestones so in your kit you will be getting the gems to go along with the rest of your kit so you can put on all the shiny stuff oh and you know what I don't want that one there uh, we'll put that about there still not done so now I had die cut out of vellum, these little trees, and these little trees come in your die set, so we're going to attach them. Just gonna use a little liquid glue. A little glue goes a long way. You just want enough to make it tacky. I'll just put it behind here. You wanna make sure it doesn't go past the card so you may need to trim off a portion of it. Let's slide that in there, good. There we go, and let's see, can we get this third one in here? Try and slip that in there, perfect. I just kind of lift that up and slide behind it. There we go. That's where we want it. Put a little bit of glue on here so it lays a little flatter. All right. Beautiful. Here is the first card. Card number one. So let's move on to card number two. Card number two is a really nice card. So we're gonna be using the Very Vanilla. I love using Very Vanilla. I think it's a color that we kind of short change. We don't use it enough. All right, so we have that. We're gonna open it back up. And let's see here. Oh, so here is the gold I was telling you about. So it uses the very vanilla and here's the gold. We're gonna be using all of these colors in that kit or in that packet. So let's lay this flat. I'm just gonna lay it flat just like this. And then we're gonna stamp. So now, let's see here. 
we are going to use a little piece here that kind of resembles like dirt ish or ground. Alright, so let me get my block that's upside down. Put it on, and we're going to use the pecan pie. Pecan, pecan. Put a little bit of that here. Then we will grab our sentiment and put that on. And I know that's something that we usually do later, but I need it on here for lining up some of the other things. Sending warmth your way is the sentiment we're going to use. Right about here. Alright, so we are done with this. Okay, now I have already went ahead and I stamped out and I die cut some of the trees. So here I did a tree, and here's another tree. So I used mossy meadow, and then I used old olive, so I did one of each. And then I went ahead and I stamped out these trees and die cut them out. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them or not, but I did, I, I just did them just to have. And then I had gone ahead and I die cut out this tree, and we're going to attach it to our card. So we're going to lay the first one down flat. Oops. And don't worry if it goes past the bottom of your card because we can we're always going to trim that out. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we have that one. The next one we will put on with dimensionals. All right, so we're just gonna put this a little lower, just like that. And then we will add on our, our tree with no leaves. I'm going to add a little bit of glue on the back, on the trunk part of the tree, and then we'll just do a little dot up here. Okay. There we go. I'll just put that right in the center. All right. It doesn't look so great now, but we need to trim this up. So I'm just simply going to flip it on its backside here. I'm just going to trim. And you could also throw this in your paper trimmer, but this literally takes seconds. So I'll get rid of the extra. All right. So we, I also went ahead and I stamped out this little bunny. And I did this in crumb cake. So we are going to kind of color in our bunny. I'm not sure how well it'll work because I had stamped that out earlier. So we'll just squeeze our pad, get a little ink on the top, just like that. Grab one of our blending brushes, or blender pens, sorry, scrap paper. So you're going to just dip the tip of the marker in the ink and then you're just going to rub it around because you want to get ink on here but you don't want a whole lot all right so let's just do some coloring here just to color him in or you could have just left him which i probably could have just left him or you could have grabbed your blending marker Just 
going to do this real light, real quick. And he'll, he'll dry and he'll look really cool. Close that up. Now, we will grab a dimensional and attach him to our card. We'll just put one on here. If you wanted to, you could use two mini dimensionals. We'll just add him to our card. So he's just kind of jumping along. All right, let's attach this to our card base. The next card you are absolutely going to love. It's really cool. All right, we are almost done with this one. Let's just flip it over. I love how the gold color on that specialty paper just kind of makes the whole card pop. So I don't think I'm going to use these pieces that I die cut, so I'll just put them on the side for another project. Now, we need to add some bling, so I am going to be using, these are the adhesive backed sparkle gems. So we'll just add some of these gold. Now in this pack you do get smaller ones and then you get larger ones. So we'll just kind of mix it up. So let's see, we'll throw a large one there. Oh, you know what? No, I don't want to put that one there. We'll put that one here. Because I forgot we still have a bow to put on. That one. Oh, the glue didn't quite go with it. No worries. I'll just grab another one. So I'll put that one there. Totally forgot about our ribbon. All right, so we're just going to tie a small little bow. How could I forget the ribbon? I love ribbon. Perfect. All right, and to attach this, I'm just going to use some of the mini glue dots. Put that on the back. And right on our card. There we go. Here's card number two. So in the kit <clears throat> that, that you can get, you will be making two of these. All right, so on to card number, or design knot number three. All right, so here we have all our pieces. So we have a piece of cardstock. I had already scored it in half. And then I put another score in, I believe it was three quarters of an inch. So your card will open this way. So you just want to fold that back. All right. But for now, we are going to grab just a plain white, white card stock. And we're going to put that in the center because, again, it's a dark color. And you want to make sure that when you write something in there, you'll be able to see it. I'll just lay that just like this. All right, then what we will do is we will put some adhesive on the inside here, and it'll close it up, and it'll be like a little binding, like a book binding. So just one little strip. Fold your card, press that down, and now your card opens like this. All right, so I have a bunch of other pieces here. Here is that third color, so, so it's like a copper color on white. And we'll attach that to our base. Ooh, sticky. All right, so we'll just center this. So I'm centering it from the edge of the card to the fold. And then I cut out a small strip, 
of that paper and we're going to put that on the binding side on the edge. And we'll just center that just like that. All right, so now for the fun part. This is so much fun. Okay, we're going to put this on the side. And so you have a piece of this uh, uh, the copper clay and let's make sure I have it the right direction so I'm going to want it to go this way all right so I'm going to show you how to emboss I know I've done this in the past but I'm going to show you again so you're going to use your Versamark and now I want to use this stamp, but I only want to get the sleigh. So I need to grab some sticky notes. Forgot to grab them. So what you're going to do is lay your stamp down. You're going to grab sticky notes to kind of block off where you do not want to ink to be stamped because I only want to use the sleigh. So we're just going to cover it just like that. So you can see I blocked off the little rope and then I'm blocking off the back side of the horse. All right. So before we stamp, when you get your embossing kit, that's something that you can order. You get a little, a little pack, and I, I believe it's like a powder inside. You want to get rid of some of the static on your cardstock. I know it kind of seems pointless, but it does get rid of the excess static, so you don't get the embossing powder where you don't want it. All right. So now we're going to take our Ver Versa ink or Ver Versa mark and stamp our sleigh. You want to make sure he's covered really good. He's all juicy. All right. So then what you do is you take off the paper because it has all that ink on there. And we don't want that, so we're just going to stamp and right down here. Kind of push a little hard just to make sure it's on there. Now you kind of get this clearish image. Simply put your paper in the tray and then you will grab the copper embossing powder. You could use whatever color you have. And we're just going to go over the image just like that and hope you don't spill it all over your desk. <laughs> just kind of shake it on here and it comes off like that. Then in the embossing kit you do get this really nice brush. So you're just going to brush off where you do not want any of that extra powder just like that and before you start with the embossing gun <laughs> the heat gun you want to put back your embossing powder I made the mistake <laughs> of leaving it out and then when I started with the heat gun it kind of like blew everywhere I'm just kind of brushing this down because we're going to use this again. Put the cover back on or the little plug. All right. So now, <coughs> excuse me, in the embossing kit, you do get these little tweezers. These are good for so many different things. You're going to hold your paper because you don't want to burn your hands. And now this is going to get a little loud. It only takes a couple seconds. 
I'm going to turn it on. I'm just going to heat it. You'll be able to know when it's done. You'll see the powder change. I don't know if you can see it. But I can it kind of like bump, bubbles up and it lets you know it's done. Awesome. See, that didn't take long. All right. So we're just going to let that set for just a moment because we're going to emboss this paper again. So we're just going to put this on the side. And while we're waiting for that to cool down a little bit, we'll stamp our sentiment. So now our sentiment, we have this little die cut label. So we need something small. So here we have a small sentiment. All right, so we'll do that. Oh, we need our black. Yeah, I think I'll just do it in black. Make sure we have our ink. And I have to move it closer so I can see. Hopefully you won't see my head. There we go. All right, so we have our sentiment. And he's cleaned. We'll put that back. We're done with the black. And we're going to put this on the side. Because now we're going to emboss some more. So this is set. Awesome. We don't need the stickies anymore. What I want to use is these little dots where it kind of looks like snow. Or at least you imagine it's snow. Put that on a block. Now we're going to use the same thing. So you're going to use your Versamark ink pad. Juice it up. And you're just randomly going to put some snow. Just like that. So we're going to do the same process. So I'll get the tray that there, but this time I'm going to use silver. That's why we're doing it in two separate because I didn't want the powders to mix. So we're just going to put the silver on. All right, so that should be on there. Just kind of shake it a little. Grab your brush. Where do you not want? With this, it really doesn't matter a whole lot because you're going to want some little flakes everywhere. All right, so lay that down. Let's pour this stuff back in. So last week when I did the card class online, I made the comment that I have embossing powder all over my table. That was because I didn't put it back in the container before I used my heat gun. Whoops. All right. So I can put that aside. Absolutely love the little brush and the tweezers. All right, so we'll hold this because we don't want to burn our fingers. It's going to get loud again, so here's the heat gun. Let's see, I hope you can see it change. It is just so neat to see. Can you kind of see it get shiny? You saw <coughs> how it changes. I didn't know how that was gonna go over on the camera, but hopefully you saw it. All right, so now you're, we're gonna grab our card base, and we want to lay this on here. Just let it cool just a sec. There we go. Lay it flat. 
brand out of glue. So I'll take this out. Grab the other one. And we'll just put that right here in the center. Press it down a little bit. And we'll grab our sentiment. Of course we're going to use dimensionals. But I cannot use the regular size, so I have the little ones. If you don't have the little ones, what you can do is cut these. But when you cut them, keep them on the paper. Otherwise, your scissors will get all gummed up. Push them down, take the little papers. So when I was designing this card, I was looking for a specific color for my ribbon. I could not find exactly what I was looking for, so I decided, well, I'm just gonna make what I'm looking for. So we have this gold ribbon. It's a satin edge ribbon. And scrap paper here. And now when you do this, you're going to want to have like a double sheet of the ribbon or the scrap paper. We're going to color our ribbon. So I really like this pecan color. Pecan, pecan, whatever. All right, so we're going to color it. Who would have thought you could color ribbon? All right, so you just simply lay it down and we want to color the edge because they still want that light color in the center. You just do light swipes with your Stampin' Blend. Just like that. And you kind of guess how much you're going to need. So what you could do is actually tie a bow and then cut it, trim it, and then untie it. And then you'll know exactly how much you need. So see, we have the color and we still have the gold. So now let's tie our bow. If we don't have enough, we can always finish coloring it. So just tie a bow. Come on, pull through. Okay, so I do need a little more colored. There we go. Get our scissors. Come on. All right, we'll just finish that up. Trim the other side down a little. There we go. All right, so let's get our little mini glue dots. I probably only need one for this bow. Just put it right about there. Right there. Isn't that cute? Now we're going to grab one of our, or a couple of our, I want those, a couple of our gems. So we want to use the sparkly silver ones. I'll just throw a couple of them out here. And see, we'll grab another. I want to add 
have numbers. That was one, two, three, four. I think need a fifth one. There we go. All right, so here is our third card. All right, so let me pull out the cards that we made. And this is the first in our series. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera. But I love this one. I think this is my favorite card. Love it. All right, so we have that. From the card prior, we made this one with the little bunny. And then we have our sleigh. Isn't that beautiful? I love these cards. I think these are so fun. So, this is the first in our series of the Christmas in July. I hope you enjoyed these cards. Um, please feel free to check out all the other classes that I have offered. If you're looking for more videos, I do have a YouTube channel. Just type in Love by Him Designs and you'll see a whole bunch of other videos. So you can get this kit for free. You will make a total of six cards. You will get all the supplies, minus the stamps and the ink, and minus the embossing powder. Because I don't know how I would even ship that. Um, I don't think I could give you enough to cover. So anyways, um, place an order, a minimum order of $30, and I will send you a kit to make a total of six cards. You'll get envelopes, you get the ribbon, and you will get the tutorials with all the written directions and measurements. All right, well, that is all I have for you. So I will see you all tomorrow as we do our second video. All right, we'll, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.